Because in Xenobyte, we're going to be tackling passwordless login so that when a user requests a link, they go to their email. Click, click the link in their email, and it automatically logs them in to the site. So let's learn how to build that. Let's hop in to Webflow first and um, deal with a few attributes that we need to add. So we have to add an attribute on the form input of email, and we need to give this a passwordless. Uh, this is just giving it a WSD attribute, passwordless email. And then we have a button attribute, and we're giving that a passwordless login button. Attributes, pretty straightforward. The only one that's a little bit different here is we also have a whole page. And that is, we're calling it our magic login page. It's blank. We don't have anything on it, except for on the body. We do have a custom attribute for the magic page because this is the page that we want the passwordless uh, login to um, take place, the request to take place on. And if we want to send um, redirects from there, we can send several different redirects in many different directions. So um, that's why we're doing it that way. Next, we're going to go into uh, Xano. Now, the first thing with Xano is they actually have a great um, setup for Magic Link and their um, in their marketplace and their and their. But this video here on YouTube, I will link to it. This is where you should start. This is how you set up step by step how to set up Magic Link with SendGrid into Xano. So once it's in Xano, um, and so how you go in to do that is you just follow the instructions on the video, but it's here in your marketplace under user authentication, and there's Magic Link with SendGrid. And once you um, get everything, um, you'll get an extension that you can configure, and it'll show you how to configure everything. Um, the only thing that you might want to look at is your redirect URI, which is that's our magic login page on our website. So that is what your uh, URI is. Um, so we will hop into the API and just take a look and see what it's doing and what we need. So if we go into um, the API, magic link is a group that it gets created. Now this is important because if you have other auth, like you started with password lists or password and, and email auth, um, where you probably did uh, with Emmanuel's um, uh, tutorials, then you're going to need to use a new API group um, uh, in, in, in WISD. So as far as that, you're gonna grab your API group base URL here. You're gonna pop into WISD, go into my apps, and then you're just gonna create a new app and I, called mine uh, Xano um, Magic Link. And then your app, uh, you choose Xano as your uh, thing, and then you will and then you will pop in the, um, the URL there. It's very straightforward, but that is the app that we're gonna be using in WISD. Back to Xano. There's two basic things that are happening here. The first is your endpoint for requesting a magic link. So this requires an email field. So this is what's going to be hooked up to our form. So when we go into WIST, set that up first, we're going to have a data out and we want this passwordless email request is what I created. That's what I called it. And we're going to use that Xano Magic Link app. And then we're going to use the uh, URL endpoint from Xano. So it's this one right here. We'll just copy that. And then we pop that back into that's our URL endpoint. And then we uh, it's post method. And then the key is email. And then we have this value, which is our um, our input value. So if we go to our inputs down here, uh, 
passwordless email. That's where I'm pulling that value from. And that's it for that. So what this does, this is going to do the first step and that is gonna to be to send our first email out. So then we just click. And if it worked, we should receive an email. And there it is. Next, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to click this link here because this link is going to give us a bunch of information that we're gonna need next. Once we click this link, you'll see that there's a token in the, um, in the URL. So for right now, we're not gonna do anything with it. Let's just go back and see what the next step is for Wiz. So we know we've sent the email, the user has gotten the email, and now we need them to do something. We need that whole um, thing to take place when we submit the, uh, click that, that email link. So back in Xano, that's part two, is this magic login. And so what it's looking for is this magic token. So when we're going through this, uh, that first part, easy. Um, you know, it's already been tested because if you receive the email, you're good to go. So let's hop back into Wiz and create another data out request. So this time we're gonna exchange the magic token for the auth token. That's what we're doing here. So we're gonna use our app, our Xano Magic Link, the, the app we created. The URL endpoint is back in Xano. If we go where we're looking at the exchanges magic token for auth token. So we want to grab this endpoint here. And we're going to pop that in there. And the method is post. And then for the input, we'll go back, take a quick look at Xano here. And we see that it is asking for a magic token. Now keep in mind, it's magic underscore token, which we need to copy exactly because that is what the key is for that. And the keys have to match. So magic underscore input token. Maybe I should just copy and paste. Okay. And so now what we do is we have that email um, link that we clicked. So let's go back to that and we're going to grab that link URL. And in the value of magic token, we're going to pop that in. And we need to delete everything before just the key itself. So there's our token key and we have that. So now we can actually just check our response right now. And here we go. We get a value back, which is what we need. So we're going to hop over the trigger for right now, because we're going to go to the after request because we need the result in here for our request. So what we're going to do is we're going to set a cookie. The cookie is going to be our cookie token, which we've already used for auth before. And the value is going to be this value that we just got back. So if we pop that in there and we go to our exchange magic token, we're going to pop that value in and that is our cookie token now. Now we're going to set a quick conditional on that and we're going to say if the status code on that equal to 200, then we will set the cookie. And what we're also going to do while we're here is we're going to navigate to a URL and the URL that we have here, dashboard industry. 
and we can use that same conditional statement that we used before. Uh, and I did a typo in it, so that's why it's not true. There we go. Let's see. Same condition. Now we've set that. So the last thing that we actually have to do is we're actually going back and we're going to two last things. So we're going to make this value dynamic because we don't want to have to hard code it each time. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop into page data and down in our navigation, that's where our URL parameters go. And so the URL parameter, if we look back in our link here, is token. So we need to match this. And so when we go to our WISD URL parameter, we're going to be using just the navigation here. We're going to be using token. So we've setting the URL parameter token there. If we go back to our data out, in our exchange, we're going to swap this for that parameter token. So now it's dynamic. It's going to be looking at the URL endpoint and looking for this particular token. And then the last, very last thing we're going to do here is we are going to select a trigger and we're going to say on page load and we're going to select that magic page attribute that we created for just the page itself it's in here somewhere and now we can run the whole thing we're going to request our link We're going to get our password. We're going to sign in with Magic Link. And it's going to automatically re reject us. And that's it. Hopefully, that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the uh, comments below, and I will try to help out.